Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. This is Josh Johnson, back with another video. Back with a 180 win and 360 video. Cause I feel like what better person to tell you guys for 180 and 360 than me? Cause I do both. So it's like, I really got a knowledge on doing both. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been in your shoes already. So this is best video for you. Cause I do this, you know what I'm saying? I did both, so boom. So um, first things first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, turn post notifications, you know what I'm saying? Like the video too, if I like the video, get it out just in case people don't know. Feel me, like that's what be able to promote it to them. So, you know what I'm saying? I put them on game too. So basically, this is a very, very important video. So I wanna make sure that I am being very clear to you guys because I'm gonna put a lot of game into this. I'm gonna tell you guys a lot of things that a lot of other YouTubers may not know or they may not tell you with transitioning for like 180, 360. So basically this is transition from 180, 360 tips, tricks, shortcuts, everything. So you can really get this message, this game, this is important. So this is basically how to fast track you, how to get to the next step on going for 180, 360s. So this is kind of like for guys who have 180s or in our transition. So one of the first things I need y'all to understand, one of the first things I need you to get, I need you to get this, is that you're gonna need a curve brush. You know, a lot of times um, on my channel, I think I was telling you guys to do straight brushes, but you're gonna need a curve brush. If you are trying to go from 180 to 360s, no doubt about it, you need to have a curve brush in your collection. Um, I would suggest you get all three curve brushes, a soft, medium, and hard, just being that you're gonna to have to focus on the angles so much more with 360 waves, and this is gonna be a big step if you are not used to having to worry about angles, and even the back, and the crown. So three, I feel like 360 isn't too bad, but you gotta know your angles. You gotta know how to mirror brush, and then everything like that. But we're gonna get into that. We're gonna keep it simple at the first part. Just wanna tell you guys, you're gonna to wanna to look into getting a curved brush. A curved brush, the benefits of having a curved brush is that you're gonna be able to get all your angles, right? Then for you being able to get all your angles, you're gonna be able to get your crown. You're gonna be able to make your beehive or your swirl. Especially if you, you're gonna do a swirl, um, I'm gonna see if I probably put a picture in there, but if you wanna do a swirl, you're gonna definitely need that peak of the curved brush. Very, very important. Curved brushes just take out so much of the work of you having to figure out if your waves are aligning, if you wanna get the sides. Because of, you know what I'm saying, the curved brush has that dip it's gonna make sure it gets the size because that's how your head is. Your head is round, you know what I mean? It's not like a square, so having a curved brush is gonna make sure you get all the angles, make sure that you're not missing any strands of hair. With a curve, with a straight brush, you're gonna end up missing a lot of areas because it's gonna be on your head like this. Like it's gonna literally be like a straight line. So you may forget a, a corner in, the, in your, uh, on the side of your head because it just can't reach. So a curve brush is gonna be able to reach. It's gonna be able to help you with your, your crown and then also it's gonna be an easier way of brushing so you don't have any forks. So definitely look into that. That's the first tip I want to tell you guys with that with the curve brush. This is gonna be so much easier. You're literally gonna thank me because it's gonna take so much of the stress out of you trying to get your pattern together. And then especially too, you're gonna to notice that brush is gonna grow with you when you become more elite. Like when you start to get it more, when you start to understand how your hair is trained, how your hair works, and your routine is tight, you're gonna notice that everything that I'm telling you is just gonna come in full effect. So you're gonna have no choice but after 360 waves because you're just gonna know so much more about waves and in your hair. So the brush is gonna grow with you. I say Torino Pro, get a Torino Pro, that's just what works. So, you know what I'm saying, why change something that's working, you know what I mean? So definitely get into that. Very, very important. So that's number one. I really wanna make sure I get that out so that you know what to do and what to look for and what you should be investing your money into and also your time into. So two, really wanna make sure y'all are using pomade. I know a lot of guys are with 180s because it's a little bit simpler and it's just really the top. You can get away with a lot more. 360 waves, not like that. 360 waves, a little bit more complicated, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more competitive, you know what I'm saying? So with that, the curved brush is gonna help you transition a lot faster, but you gotta keep up with the routine. You wanna make sure you're doing everything that you need to do, using natural products, using natural shampoos, using natural conditioners, 
and then making sure you're using that pomade to tie everything together. Without you using a pomade, you might as well, I wanna say Woody, I don't think you should try 360 ways, I'm not gonna say that, but it's just gonna be, your ways not gonna look as good as they should be. And if you don't want them to look as good as you should be, you probably shouldn't be doing 360 ways. Just to be 100 with you because 360 ways is a, it's a lot more to it. So you know what I mean? Don't don't really like get into it if you're not gonna put your, your heart into it. You me? That's how I think. You know what I'm saying? You really even though you know what I'm saying, the uploading thing, we ain't talking about that. We talking about you and waves, so don't talk about my uploading. But uh, yeah, so you wanna make sure you're doing that. It's a lot more competitive too, so people are gonna be noticing a lot more uh, let's say your forks, you know what I'm saying, with 360 waves, a lot more critiques on your forks, your pattern, and then your overall hair texture, like your quality. So you really can't go with like, you know what I'm saying, you can't half it, you know what I'm saying, you gotta go full force. So just know, know your routine, know your, your pomade, like mixing that all together is very, very important because it's gonna lay down your hair and you're gonna have a better pattern. You're gonna notice it too. People are also gonna notice it a lot more when your pattern is a lot tighter, your routine is a lot tighter. So just remember that. You wanna definitely add the pomade into your routine, but make sure your routine is tight with the pomade. Don't forget the pomade. Like, honestly, I'm telling you guys this, like brushing everything, but don't forget the pomade because you're just gonna work 10 times harder for no reason, like literally no reason at all. So remember that, tie it all together. It just makes sense. It's gonna be a lot easier for you. You don't have to worry about too much on the problem side. So uh, three, uh, I would say do rag, but I'm gonna give y'all something a little bit more complex with the three transition from 360, 180 to 360 is the crown. So this is the big dog. This is the determining factor of you being elite and not being elite is the crown. So with 360 waves, as I said before, it's a lot more competitive, a lot more, more critiques. So if you are not able to tie in your crown with your waves, it's gonna be like a letdown. People are gonna be like, you know, I really want to, you know, congratulate him on his ways, but the crown just wasn't hidden as well as it should. Like crown is definitely very, very important. Um, so as I said before, you're gonna need the sporting ways. I always say to go, but also you gotta make sure your swirl is hitting. You gotta make sure your beehive is hitting, you know what I'm saying? So just knowing that with 360 waves, that's the difference between 180 and 360 mainly is because you don't really have to worry too much about a crown with 180 because you can easily just cut it. 360 ain't that, it don't work like that. <laughs> 360, your crown is gonna be looked at. They're also gonna see how wide the opening is to your crown, like it's, it's crazy, like because you literally have to shift each and every hair in the same direction so that way you can get your right swirl or beehive. So just know that. You know, the crown is no joke. And also, too, a lot of times with the crown, people, you have to lay down your crown, too. If you have really thick hair, if you're a straight hair waver, laying down your crown is very, very important, too, because one wrong move, you literally don't have a crown no more, or it's not, it messes up the whole direction of your wave pattern. So keep that in mind. But yeah, man, just your crown is a big thing in a 360 wave community. It's really what differs from 180 to 360 to be honest, and it takes a little bit more time. But if this is something that you want, this is something you want to invest your time into, this is something you need to look for, and this is something you need to stay on, um, stay on and on, because people are gonna be looking at that. So that is like the main thing. And then lastly, I would say it is the quality. Um, normally, you know what I'm saying, 360 wave, if your hair quality isn't as good, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna look at it, I feel like they would dock points on that if your hair quality just isn't up to par. And quality being as though like your hair isn't as healthy as it should be. But you know what I'm saying, if your pattern is good, it really kind of will take that out. But this is something you also wanna look for is the quality. So for quality, I always say using natural products, using natural leave-in conditioners, very, very important. But make sure that you're using it on top of your routine is important because you are gonna be judging this, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times in 180 waves, you can kind of get away with this, but with 360s, 360s are all over. 540s, they're all over. So people are going to be able to notice, especially if they do have waves, like, okay, his front, you know what I'm saying, the front area was good, but the sides were lacking. You know what I'm saying? His quality wasn't as good on the back as it is on the side. So it's like, because it's all over, you have more area, like room for 
fault, like room for error. So just make sure you're understanding that your quality has to be up to par as well, because this is all over. You don't want to make any mistakes because it will be seen. You know what I'm saying? You will have forks. You have to worry about getting that out. So just understanding that, like you want to make sure your quality is up to par. Use a good natural leave-in conditioner. It's very important, it's easy. Invest the money into it, it lasts, you're gonna notice the difference. So I say Shea Moisture, that's because it's the cheapest, greatest product you can probably get on the market. Everything else is probably gonna be a little bit too high or kind of girly and stuff like that, just kind of like that. Or everything else might be marked up too high, just to be honest with you, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to spend your pockets, like, you know, I ain't trying to look in your pockets and everything, like, Listen, like you don't really want to spend a hundred dollars on hair product. You feel me? Like I, that's how I am. That's how I think. You all subscribe to me, so that's how I would think you would think as well. So, all right. So after that, uh, another thing is uh, forks. So from switching from 180 waves, 360 waves is the forks. This is a big determining factor too. Uh, this isn't last. It's just this is something I just thought about. I wanted to touch on too. Forks literally can eat up your pattern and mess up your whole pattern. So with that being said, this goes back to your routine, but forks, it's important to keep an eye on that because you can literally jump from elite to people aren't really that interested in seeing your waves work because it is not, it's not an even pattern. As you know, us being how we are, we like things to be consistent. We like things to be in pattern. We like things to be symmetrical. So with waves, Seeing a nice pattern, it just does something. It's just like you appreciate its greatness. So seeing a great pattern is definitely important. So just notice like when you have forks, stay up on that. You know what I mean? Either trim it down if you're noticing your hair is over curling or just lay it down a lot better or use better products. With 360 Wave, especially if you want a nice cut with 360 Wave, you have to make sure your forks are taken care of at all times, no exceptions. You gotta get in that mirror, you gotta brush, you gotta have a mirror up. You're gonna be spending a lot of time in the bathroom, it's just how it is. Um, there's really no way around that, especially too if you're trying to beat out competition in your school or beat out your, your friend group, everything that they're trying to get away. If you wanna make sure your, your stuff is elite, make sure you take care of your forks like immediately. Like when you see, as soon as you see it, notice, all right, this ain't gonna fly, I gotta get a tighter routine than even what I got. And sometimes you can mess up your routine by getting forks if you're not wearing your new rag at night. So with 360 waves, if you make a mistake, it will be seen immediately. Like it's just how it is. Like people are just gonna notice like, okay, he has a good pattern, but he got forks. You know what I mean? I, even on my videos or like videos that I react to, people have noticed that. And I'm like, wow, like I don't think the waves look great, but for somebody else, they want it to be a hundred. They want it to be perfect. So. I will have more videos on that. I will have more like reactions to that because you know people do love seeing a perfect pattern, like nothing wrong and the crown to be intact. So just know that. Um, and then, you know what I'm saying? That's definitely tips that I feel like will help you out in your transition from 180 to 360 because it's very competitive out here. You know what I mean? Like people are definitely looking to see if you have any fault, if you have 360. If you claim the 360, people, that's what people want to see. You know what I'm saying? So. That's the end of the video. Just want to give y'all these tips. Make sure you like the video again. You know what I'm saying? Share the video. All that. I really appreciate it. But thank you again. Thank you again for watching. Um, I'll be back with another video, another banger. So let's go. I'm out. <laughs>